Hey, Squints. So here's the deal. We, we have a scorpion problem over here. Uh, and so that means that on occasion, we need to go out and uh, get rid of those scorpions, if you will. And so uh, we do that by scorpion hunting. And the way that we scorpion hunt is we take a black light. So here is a black light flashlight. And it doesn't emit normal light. It actually emits ultraviolet light. It's light that is ultra. And it is very energetic light. Too energetic for our eyes to see. So our eyes see a set wavelengths of light, set energies of light. And if you go higher in energy than what we can see with our eyes, you get what's in this black light. And so when I turn this on, you actually see a little bit of violet light. But really what this black light is good for is the light that we can't see, that ultraviolet light, the invisible light. And the reason why this is good for scorpion hunting is because when you shine this light on scorpions, there are chemicals in the scorpion shell that will absorb the invisible light and then fluoresce it back out as a bright bluish green light, which our eyes can see. And so we can see these scorpions very obviously glowing as they fluoresce this light back at our eyes. The problem is, you know, that's all fine and dandy if you have a good UV black light. This black light is very cheap and I really should just buy a new one. When I turn it on, it flickers all the time, and I'm sure you will see that over and over. So I wanna try making our own instead of buying uh, another one because we're, we're on a tight budget here. So I'm gonna take my, my phone, has an LED flash on it, and this flash can emit all colors that are visible to our eyes. We wanna get rid of that light that is visible to our eyes and just try to get the higher energy wavelengths in the hope that maybe this LED is emitting some UV light uh, that we could use to detect scorpions. So uh, what we'll do, take some tape and I'll put it over the LED flash. So, and then I'll take the purple marker and color it on in. And then get another layer of tape. Uh, this one with the blue marker and then repeat it all once more. I do want to put a quick note here. Uh, the idea for this homemade black light was found all over the internet and while I know that everything on the internet must be true, this one seems kind of far-fetched. The idea that your phone's LED flash would be emitting wavelengths below 400 nanometers, that would be a very inefficient LED flash to have on your phone. And there's no reason for your phone to have that capability. But hey, this is science, let's see how it goes. So now we can test it out. We got our makeshift uh, UV light and I can turn it on and you can see that it looks kind of a bluish purple color. And so a good way to test this out is to take a highlighter so a highlighter has a uh, molecule in it, which will fluoresce. Uh, move my nice little succulent here. Uh, it has a nice little uh, molecule in there that will fluoresce at about 400, uh, 401 nanometers. And scorpions tend to uh, fluoresce around 395 nanometers, so we're in that range. So we'll see if we can make this glow with our uh, homemade black light and compare it to a, a, a nicer black light. All right, so if we hold our makeshift black light, our phone black light up to it, and we can see a nice little high, nice little message glowing from that fluorescence. Uh, so then let's compare that to a, the actual black light. I'll turn that on here. And uh, very similar color, very similar glowing there. Uh, so, so far so good. Again, this is a pretty similar wavelength that the scorpions will need to fluoresce. So we'll see how that goes. So a couple other things, in case you're interested, that glow under a black light. Uh, olive oil glows a nice little red-orange color. Good old Vaseline will glow a nice blue color. And uh, cleaners, uh, laundry detergent often glows blue as well. Uh, and so white cloth will often glow blue. So uh, in honor of our scorpion hunting expedition, I feel it is important to make sure I deck myself out properly. So I'll get some Vaseline and uh, get some appropriate war paint on as I prepare to battle these fierce creatures. Then I'll put on my 
trusty bandana. Should have measured it out before I put it on. It's actually a little too short. Okay, there we go. And I'm ready to go to war. Let's go scorpion hunting, mate. All right, so we found our first scorpion. Here's, uh, I'm actually using the uh, cheapo flashlight because you see it disappears when I use the phone light. The phone light did not work, I repeat. Uh, but there it is. So, I'll take advantage of this opportunity still. Pull out my paint scraper. And here we go. Success. We got another one. The light just keeps going out. What's that on your foot? What? <laughs> <laughs> Close one. Uh, we're okay though. So what do we learn? Well, so the cheapo blacklight versus the homemade blacklight. Unfortunately, but expectedly, this is hard to classify as a blacklight. Doesn't matter how many videos there are out there or blogs there are out there, you can't really turn your phone into a blacklight because it doesn't seem to be emitting any wavelengths below 400 nanometers. Uh, so it is kind of cool though that you can still make highlighters glow uh, or fluoresce um, but even that doesn't mean that this is even getting close to 400 nanometers there are other chemicals that are sometimes used in highlighters that will fluoresce or glow at higher wavelengths closer to like 475 nanometers so really it's not a backlight folks that's okay either way keep asking questions and keep on squinting